Welcome back to the Eaglecraft YouTube channel. Today, we have the all new 42 foot cruiser powered by quad all new 450 Yamaha XTO engines. So today we're gonna give you a quick walkthrough of this all new model for us. And then we'll spend a little bit more time with those people that wanna hang out and learn a little bit more about the details. So you can see just the absolutely beautiful black and white graphic package we have. And just down to the details we went for this customer uh, having the windows powder coated to match. As we make our way aft, you can see, as always, our very nicely laid out side door makes accessing the boat just a breeze. And there it is, the quad 450 outboards with the underwater lights even turned on to give them a little bit extra effect. So I know the first question out of everybody's mouth, how fast? We've seen almost 50 knots, uh, wide open throttle, and efficiently cruises at about 28 knots for this particular boat. This boat is fully equipped with all the systems that you'll see as I take you on board. So she is a heavy one. So 50 knots is a feat with all the systems on board this boat. And here it is, the business end as I like to call it or the dance floor as others call it. But this is laid out for absolute fishing. So you can see all the Berwyn uh, rod holders mounts built into the boat. And then even down to the little details with the uh, foot rail and then additional storage uh, with the side shelf there uh, on the port side You can see in deck there are actually three fish boxes all are insulated and then the large hatch there in the floor is actually access to our systems throughout the boat Pop that up here for you. You can see the 12 kilowatt uh, Northern Lights generator sea keeper system uh, starting and house battery system and there is even still a little bit of storage. It's just down to the tension to details. You noticed as I lifted that hatch, lights came on. That's automatic um, with all our storage compartments here from Eaglecraft. It's even down to the details. This is all insulated to keep the sound nice and quiet. That closed, you can see the built-in fish box into the transom. So you can see we put some partitions in this one and dual drainage. Again, this one's also insulated as well. And then to either side, you can see some really nice uh, tackle storage built in, a couple drawers, so tackle boxes, and that's just a smaller version there to port. And then across the transom of the boat, we have eight rod holders and another Berwyn mount for all your needs. Make our way over to the port side. You can see our really nicely built in aft deck seat below to the port side, additional tackle and storage drawers. Even have uh, a really nice step up onto the gunnel and then just the absolutely massive stereo system that's on board this boat. And there you have it, the aft console. This has everything you need and then some with the triple display Garmin system networked into the Yamaha for all your gauges. So you can have all the information up on independent screens, very nice to, to uh, operate when you're fishing. And it's a little bit hard to see with the reflections, but you can also see you have really nice sight lines straight through to the boat. But if that wasn't enough, the boat is equipped with a forward camera to make visibility even that much easier. And then, of course, the boat is equipped with the Helmmaster EX system, just making docking a breeze. Very, very simple. Uh, you give me anybody basically with just a little bit of boating knowledge, and in 10 minutes, they could even be docking this boat with the Helmmaster EX system. And there you have it, the beautiful interior, as always, from Eaglecraft. This is what we call our walnut package, so it's a little bit darker. You may have seen on some of our other videos, uh, our cherry package, those, that is our two uh, primary packages that most of our customers choose from. But again, we're a custom boat builder, so we let you pick your colors. Again, you can see just the beautiful U-shaped settee to port. This obviously converts into another berth. And then to starboard, as always, we have our very nicely built-in uh, galley with everything you could ask for, including the induction cooktop, convection microwave, uh, really nice undermount sink and to match the black theme we had to make sure that we found the fixtures and the sink to match 
Then to port, you can see this is our quarter berth, really nicely laid out. It's deceiving on camera, but about six foot three person can stand up down below here. You got built in storage there. And then as we make our way looking forward, this is actually a queen size mattress. And at the lowest point, you still have about three feet above the mattress. You also have a nice little port light built in for additional light into this area. And we make our way up to the rest of the boat. Uh, you'll see in the floor here, this is another hatch access to storage throughout the boat uh, underneath the galleon area. We'll open that up uh, as we make our way back through the boat uh, for the people that want to see more details. Now you can see here, uh, the boat is equipped with uh, air conditioning uh, with reverse cycle heat, and then it also does have a diesel furnace. So you can see the registers here for the air conditioning. Make our way forward. You can see our really nice uh, suspension seat at the helm and all the equipment you need to operate the boat all at your fingertips. Now, of course, if that wasn't enough, we had to make sure the co-pilot side had a matching 16-inch uh, Garmin displays over here for them as well. Make our way forward to the master owner's stateroom. You can see again, a nice queen size mattress forward, plenty of storage built in all the way around. It has its own ventilation system with heating and diesel furnace. The massive stereo system carries throughout in this box and also in the cabin uh, is two TVs, one for the main cabin, one for the master suite. Hanging closet there. Another one to this side. And then you'll see just a beautifully laid out uh, head uh, with plenty of storage there. And the shelf, little medicine cabinet built in, and plenty of stuff to store all your items. And then to port, as usual, with the 38 and up Yulecraft cruisers, separate um, shower to starboard, or excuse me, to port. And it has its own built-in uh, storage system there to keep shampoo, uh, soaps, things of that nature dry. And we also do plumb it to the heating system as well to keep it nice and warm in there. And there you have it. That's the quick walkthrough of the all-new 42-foot Yulecraft Cruiser. Now, for those that want to stick around and see a little bit more attention to detail, we'll, we'll walk you through some of the finer points of this boat. So underneath the bed, just the little things. If you fold that down... We went the extra step, nicely uh, carpeted this area for additional storage. And if you were to lift up the mattress, there's additional storage forward throughout the boat. And we'll take a look. There's the hanging closet there. And if we go aft, you can see there, this is the uh, electrical system for the boat. So the entire boat uh, because of the amount of systems on board is equipped with extensive circuit breakers for not only the 12 volt system but also the 120 there forward at the forward helm so the boat's equipped with a full garmin package all networked throughout you have access to the inverter system to manage the electrical loads on the boat you can see there is some additional switching there for some of the main larger um, systems uh, the lighting throughout the boat is on uh, Garmin digital switching. So very quickly, I'll show you what that looks like. Just simply go there and I can turn all the lighting system on and off throughout the boat. And then over to the console, you can see we have our Northern Lights generator, uh, the control panel for the Seakeeper system, we also put in a redundant fuel um, sender, which also matches the Garmin system and the Yamaha system, just as at a redundancy. Then we have our bow thruster. Even though this does have the Helmaster system, we will go ahead and put an additional uh, large commercial grade bow thruster on the boat. And then you'll see the zip wake system mounted here for your automatic interceptor uh, system so similar to a trim tab but automatic and then over here that is our joystick for our FLIR camera that is on board the boat 
So we make our way aft throughout the boat. You will see down here. This is access to our storage compartment. So just a small little attention to details, the added size of the uh, aluminum extrusion that we use for our hatches, just completely overboard, uh, but that's what Eelcraft is known for, going above and beyond. Now as we take a look, plenty of storage down here uh, for all your items that you maybe don't need on a regular basis. You can also see the systems, waste system, and all the nice, neat plumbing uh, wash down. Uh, windshield washdown system mounted there uh, on the bulkhead, hot water heater, and that is our air conditioning system. And it's just the small things. We go ahead and put, again, this same hatch on a switch so that as you put this hatch down, lights go off in the storage compartment just to try to make things easy to use. Again, went ahead and built in the trash right into the galley. Try to take advantage of all the storage we have on board the boat. Another TV. So there you have it. That's a quick walkthrough of the 42-foot Eaglecraft Cruiser. If you have questions about this boat or any of our other Eaglecraft product, please feel free to reach out to us at eaglecraft.com. And we look forward to hearing from you soon.